Okay. Didn't even know that is a mode, thing. Slide the mouse wheel to enter the star map mode. Star map mode. Oh my freaking god. <gasps> this is so cool. How far we can go. Okay, that's the loopy system. Oh my god, so many stars. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, welcome everybody! I'm Papa Snoozy, and it's the second episode of Dyson Sphere Program, the brand new automation game. And I'm very excited to be here and play the further. In between episodes, I did a couple of things. We get to that in a couple of seconds, but <laughs> first of all, I did wander around the planet. I was gathering some more resources to fuel up my. Uh, mech over here my Icarus and I got totally lost <laughs> I got totally lost on this planet it looks kind of small but it's at the same time it's kind of huge at least with that movement speed we are dealing with right now so <laughs> that was <laughs> kind of funny I also did uh, mine some more titanium ore and we got some organic crystals to fuel our mech even more and I did craft a bunch of stuff and crafting so we have a couple conveyor belts and these sort of thingies and I did make these uh, components and I even make, made some stone. A common material obtained from smelting stone ores is usually used as a foundation for facilities. I think that's pretty important in the future and we, uh, last episode we unlocked the matrix lab and that's all what this episode is going to be all about. Make that research stuff automated. I want to get to it. I want to get to it. So what did I between episodes? On the iron ore deposit here, I did make another smelter and stockpiling up some magnets. We have a huge amount of them as well as <laughs> iron ingots. We're pretty much full. I did the absolutely same thing over on the copper department. You can see here right now. And I did even tap on a stone department on the far northwest, south, well, east. I don't freaking know. We are here mining some stone. With the stone, we can smelt it into stone or we can smelt stone. Stone to stone makes the stone here. And we can also make some glass out of uh, the stone ore. So I'm stockpiling glass as well. Let's grab a stack of these, maybe a stack of these as well. So we're pretty much good to go for this episode. Now, what's next in the research department? Well, the most logical thing to get the next uh, thingy were this steel smelting, but we need these electromagnetic matrices for, and that's what we are going to automate uh, next. Then we can smelting purification, make that as well. So we get some silicon ore and graphite and your silicon and then what I want to go into this episode is the environment modification so we have some foundations I think that makes building on this planet much more easier we are kind of surrounded all by water and we cannot place any kind of structures on the water so that's a bit of a problem and but there's something we can solve that problem as well as in the upgrades we have to make progress the first thing i want to do is this um mecha core upgrade plus 40 mega tool max core energy and that's just iron plates uh iron ingots and copper ingots so we ac activate that and that's pretty much good to go the next is uh, this electromagnetic matrixes and as i understand the Movement speed thingy is then motors we have to unlock and inventory capacity. Then we have communication control takes these matrices as well. 
Something for the future drive engine unlocks mecha flight. I want to get into flighting. We have to find some coal for that. The magnetic coil we have. And then solar sail life. I have no freaking idea what this is all about. And it even takes energy matrix and the yellow structure matrices. I think we're pretty far away from that. Ooh, vertical construction we can unlock as well in this game. So cool. Sort cargo. I can spend hours in here looking at all these researches. Research speed. What's this even? What even is this even? Information matrix. Okay. Purple as well. Ugh. I think I even saw a yellow, no, a white research thing. Yeah. First thing I want to get once we have this matrixes automated, I think, is this able to view the veins distribution on the planet. So we can easily find some more resource nodes all over the planet. So let me grab some more copper ore. Now copper thing is, where do I even have that? Yeah, over there. And then we are going to automate... We're gonna automate these matrixes here. They take these magnetic coils and these circuit boards, so we have to automate them first. So that's copper and iron, and that's copper and iron. Yeah, pretty much like it is. Okay, I can have handcraft these, but not really interested in that, to be totally honest with you. Okay, first thing first these magnetic coils. This take this copper and this magnet magnets there. Yeah, if I can speak. So now we have a problem. You increase the core and chill limit of the mecha. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, how are we gonna do that? How are we gonna do that? We need these and these. Seems like on this side of the planet we have a big, big, big surface to play on that's stone that's more copper there's iron that's even more copper and more stone holy hell but this is a huge um, place to build on and on the other side we haven't we haven't much space to build on so i think i'm going to make this in here okay now we need to get on with this assembly machines and i'm kind of Placing them somewhere, looking what it's all about. And I guess we have to go with some... I uh, guess in the future we have to go with some more of this assembler. So let me craft a bunch of them as well. Six. Sounds like a plan. Okay, then select recipe. Magnetic coils. Okay. Then it is magnets and the coppers. So, for the time being, I'm just run a conveyor belt from here to there. Then we have to... Uh, must... Yeah, yeah. Come on, build. Thank you. And from here to here. Then we want to store up these things. Uh, like here, for example. Like so. so we always want to have to store them. And then how we get the magnets over here. <laughs> That's difficult, I guess. That's difficult. I have to produce more of these. No, don't do that, Papa. We have automated. No, we have not automated gears. Let me do that first. Automate some gears. It's used with... Uh, assembler, then such a guy, then power, like that, then storage facility, like that, another one of these kind of bad boys, and we want to make gears, yes, okay, so I have to handcraft gears even more, what else do this take, circuit boards and, and plates, we should have plenty of iron plates. Maybe six is a bit much. Let's start with four. Already have 13 gears in here. Okay, now. How we get these magnets over? Poof. Can we build on the... Oh, we can build the conway belt on the... 
on the waters. That's a good thing. So I think I'm gonna run them. Yeah, lack of items, I know. I think I'm, we're gonna run them on here. So the thing would be the conveyor belts would be just from here and then we need some more conveyor belts. We could automate them as well. Again, handcrafting gears, not the way I want it. How many gears do we have? Uh, let's throw them back, make some more. Yeah, see? No gears there. You can go away. Let's grab iron plates. Yeah, well, iron ingots. I'm pretty much even into satisfactory or <laughs> whatnot. Okay, should be good for now. While that is building, let's see, technologies. Okay, I think the environment modification is the way to go. Improved logistics, splitters. I want to make a big, big starter base to begin with. You can so now click the planet thumbnail button in the lower left corner of the screen. Or press the M key to try the planet view mode. Sh is that a thing? M? Oh my god! In the planet view mode. You can hold down the middle mouse button drag, rotate the angle of view, and hold down the right mouse button. Drag to roll the angle of view. Press N key to point to the front to the North Pole. Okay. Didn't even know that is a mode, thing. Slide the mouse wheel to enter the star map mode. Star map mode? Oh my freaking god. <gasps> this is so cool how far we can go okay that's the loopy system oh my god so many stuff uh, look at that wow wow red giant oh this is huge what hd474074 <laughs> okay wow guys o type star what is this all about what? The Nebola. For 34 light years. Unreachable. Required drive engine 4. Okay. What's this? Uh, black hole. Black hole? Yeah. Black hole. We can't see a thing because it's black. <laughs> we have a black hole in the middle of our galaxy here. Wow. B type star. B type. B type. F type. What's F type? Oh, a tiny one. Alpha Normae. Wow. Neutron star. Yeah, wow. <laughs> That's a tiny one. That's a tiny one. What the hell? So cool. If I have knew that earlier, my little peeps, if I have knew that earlier, so we can zoom in on the planet, how do I get out of this? Yeah. If I had knew this, Earlier, I won't get lost. <laughs> oh my god, so cool. And it's so fast, look at that. Yeah. So we can see our whole planet here. So nice. Oh, there is a huge area of space to build on. What was the key to rotate back? Yes, so escape. Oh, so cool. Didn't even know that was a thing. Such a cool so cool so cool let's see okay like a soul maybe and then for now we don't have a splitter right now so i'm going to do that take the convey belt to this and then one of these guys what let's make a bunch of them and build the leftover conveyor belts. Thank you. Now we have a couple of these guys stored up, like so. Okay. What you're missing? Oh, I didn't put the output. Okay, output should be like so. Good stuff. So the magnets going should be fine. And once they reach their destination, let's concentrate on the other thing, 
which is not not uh, wrong button the circuit boards I'm ingots copper ingots get some some circuit boards okay so for now the assembly machine for the second copper thing have to go there so just be circuit boards then another storage thingy is this too close no should be good okay and one of these bad boys here so copper ingots go in now we have to bring over the iron like this and then can we grab from that yes we can nice 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 okay follow that conveyor belt to build all this stuff i hope i have enough conveyor belts can make some more I have to grab some gears first not to handcraft gears again come on little drones I guess that was an upgrade upgrade too right this the drones uh, drone engine construction drone flight speed yeah flight speed and here is plus one construction drone yes so we get to that in the future in the future in the meantime let's connect these to the power grid and i'm already out of fuel again so let's put in these this should provide us with some power oh don't forget to put the output not just the conveyor belt the output as well and while we're here grab some uh, What's going on? Hello? Okay, I have to have the inventory open to grab. Good to know. Okay, now. There's something with no power over there. Let's investigate that problem. Um, maybe do a thing like so. Auto saving, thank you. Okay, we should automate these, right? Yes, it's pretty slow. Oh, this filter sorter thing is they're pretty pretty slow. I wonder. Um upgrades, no technologies. Yeah, these sorters mark two. Sorting speed three trip per second and grid. So one grid tile can move three a second what's up these guys 1.5 okay it's double the speed okay now the components these matrices they take so another constructor right oh, doesn't really matter right like so maybe and then can I put one thing okay it's too far I don't wanna have them aligned with the grid somehow. Like that and like that. And these guys as well here. Like so. Need valid connection. Yeah, come on. Like this. Oh, that's the wrong recipe. I wanna make. Um, hello? Can I not automate them? What the hell? Is that not in a constructor? Wait. Research lab. Matrix lab. Oh yeah. You can use it to make super matrices or research technologies that require them to unlock. The super matrices are the source code of the center brain for maintaining the home world. You can upload as many super matrices to the center brain as possible. You can be benefit to unlock more actual world technologies by operating the home world simultaneously. No. Didn't meant to do that. I want to disconnect these. Oh. Okay, again. Like so. Uh, select recipe, it says. Oh, yeah, okay. Now it's producing them. Nice. And do we store up them as well? I guess this is a yes. Oh, you have no power. Like that. Oh, we are on the power department. Maybe it's 
wouldn't be a bad idea to make one another of these bad boys. Oh yeah, okay, it's producing them. So, we can select any research now. I'm not really into that right now. This would be a good idea, so we can unlock splitters. And then I want to have, yes, I want to have these queued up. Oh, 400, what? That's gonna be a... It's gonna be a... Term power, term power station facility that use combustible materials such as coal as fuel to generate electrical energy. <sighs> we have to research that first. Yeah, we have to research that first. And then do this and this and then these yes so we can get to more um, efficient power sources then unlock the steel but jimmy because i need to go to the foundation thingies and then we unlock the um, splitters and the faster sorters yes okay how is that going to work okay it's stock past 10 of these like 28 for the next thing so we're gonna store up them no more monkeys jumping on a bed. I need some more storage things. Like so, like so, and like so. Yes. Okay. That is that. Once I have all these 19, 18 left done, I'm going to search out for some coal. So we get to a much more efficient power source. And once we have enough power, we can research the other thingy and... Then we can see how ma how far we uh, this is going to take us. Yes. Okay. Magic lab introduction. This will greatly increase the research speed by using multiple magic labs to s research the same technology at the same time. Okay. We unlock the thermal power. So thermal power station. I think we can use coal in that, and we are pretty much doing the research we have queued up i've already the motors queued up as well so i'm going out looking for some coal and gathering some wood to provide our mech with some power and i think i'll catch you in a couple minutes okay and i'm back my peeps okay what i did i can show you i did unlock the wayne's distribution thingy in the research uh jingy machingy and it shows me all the or the resource deposits on the whole planet here and i did reach very far apart from my base and that's the closest coal i could find <laughs> we are pretty much out of coil on in the in the near space of my base so <laughs> i did reach all out to here get to power up my mecha again icarus <laughs> And now I want to tap on these coal vents. We have two here and they're pretty huge. So almost a million here and 900,000 here. I also found some crude oil, although we have crude oil closer to the base as well as here. Not really sure what we can do about the crude oil right now, but yeah, we are going to make a power facility right here. So if we go into the power thingy, I have thermal power stations of course we have to mine first of all mine this coal part let's just place one why not all right a thermal power station such power facilities need to consume chemical energy fuels if you wanted to generate continuous and stable power you need to ensure a sufficient fuel supply at all times okay now bring the power over and then here and we should have coal running and gunning okay now we are at 2.7 megawatts what's next 4.8 okay these guys give 2.16 megawatts conversion rate 80 percent why is it going to 100 maybe baby it seems not I have an idea. What if we do a, a, a second input? It won't go over 10. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 
Let's grab the coal in the inventory and then put it in here. Yes, coal. So unlimited energy for our mecha, the Icarus. We don't have to gather more trees and plants. Pretty, pretty nice stuff. So then I heard about the trick. We can do that kind of thing. Is that correct? Yes, we can. Nice. So we can stockpile them. We can daisy chain them, if you like. Oh, that's more like it. Okay. How many of these guys can we put in a row, I wonder? If that's not working, we just place them on the other side of the belt. No problem. So like this. It's testing purposes, ladies and gents. Lack of items. Hey. Make me of these. Ten, yeah. I'm crafting circuit boards. Not the way I want it, but... Okay. Yeah, that seems like... It's good. 13.5 megawatts all already. Nice. Like that. And like that. And now, yes, working, nice. And how many are you producing? If I, 210 a minute, 210 a minute and this burns, I don't know <laughs> how much a minute, but yeah, so cool. Power is up to go, research is Automated. I ha just have to grab them from storage and I think that's time to say goodbyes for this episode. Ooh, next episode we're going into the research even more and then I want to place these foundations all over the place so we can make a nice cool looking starter base and go into some upgrades. At least these ones they take... oh no, they... yeah. They take these matrixes. So that's the plan for episode 3, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very, very, very much for watching. It's going to be night time. And I wish you a good night. Have a lovely day. Like the video if you have enjoyed this little session. Consider subscribing if you're new here. And I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.